Right, hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to uh, record a short playthrough of Space Hulk 4th edition. One of the early missions. I, I think it's the very first one actually. I can't recall because I've been playing around with the game trying to learn it. Um, it's pretty straightforward but there's still some nice bits and pieces, touches here and there that you need to keep in mind. Uh, especially when you play on your own. It's um, It was designed as 1v1 and I'm playing one versus myself. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, ex excuse the glare. Uh, this, this glare is from my LEDs which I can't really switch off because you won't be able to see anything. However, I think they did just add an interesting um, atmosphere to the board and I have to tell you uh, the quality of the material used for, for this game is absolutely stunning. The way this game looks on the table, absolutely beautiful. Anyways, this is, let me show you, on the control board, mission status board, whatever it's called. Mission four, um, turn four, we actually rolled five for command points. Where normally you pick a token, token like this, on the other side, over there. But since I'm playing against myself, it, it doesn't really make any sense for me to draw a token. Uh, D6 is um, is easier. It streamlines the rolling and, and things like that. I don't have to hide the number of command points that I have for my at my disposal against you know you know. So that's that's the way it is. Um, we have just completed the. Um, we, we're trying to uh, to invade the ship, really. Uh, we came from these two uh, torpedoes, this is what they're called, uh, in the mission. Both were packed with uh, Space Marines led by two sergeants. Sergeant Lorenzo uh, with his power sword right there. And Sergeant Gideon. I, I'm still learning the, the names of the brothers uh, which I'll be referencing to during our sample playthrough. Hopefully that's something that you enjoy watching. If you do, then please let me know and I can record more because I've been playing this game on and off every other evening for the last week or so, trying to find the best way to, uh, to overcome either the Gene Stealers or the Space Marines, depending on the wind condition for, for certain missions. I, I suppose this one is called Beachhead, the very first one, because this one is pretty straightforward and you can learn the game while playing this. Um, so here we are, turn four, beginning of turn four. And as you know, <coughs> we have this hourglass that, you know, counts your counts as a timer for Space Marines. So I suppose, ha, I don't know how it's going to work out with me recording that and and one hand being occupied with the camera. <laughs> so you have to bear with me, especially when I'm trying to um, remember the names of the brothers. So if I if I uh, butcher the names or forget about the names of the brothers, then just, you know, you just have to s stick with me and hopefully you don't mind you're not a uh, purist for Space Hulk. Uh, I, I think I will become one in the future because I really, really enjoy that game. The vibe of Alien that this uh, Alien movies this this game brings in is absolutely fantastic, especially in later turns for this mission and in other missions, of course. But in this mission, when you're being overrun by um, depending on the on the token draw, really, but you know you can you can become overrun easily by the gene stealers. Anyways, let's let me try and grab an angle, uh, a um, comfortable angle, so that I can play quite comfortably. So before I progress with my before I start my space marine mission uh, mission uh, phase, I need to clear the. Overwatch tokens. So as you can see, we've breached the doors. If you're familiar with this mission, we've breached some of the doors. These were um, uh, these were opened by the blips, same as this one, or maybe this one was destroyed by one of the space marines. Yeah, these were destroyed by space marines. This this one was open, 
and this one by, by the blips. So the way I recognize which one was destroyed or open is that the open doors, I leave them next to the board. I think that's what the manual says anyway. Anyways, let's, let's begin. 10 number four, right? 10 number four, we have five command points. Right, I think we will start with uh, trying to get rid of these two blips and these two blips over here the objective of the mission for the space marines is to have at least seven on the board and get rid of all the blips in the rooms across the space hawk the gene stealers have to kill more than uh, more than half of the uh, of the space marines i i think if i recall correctly there cannot be more than five by the turn 12. 12 turns is um, the amount of time that you have to complete the mission. Okay, let's kick things off with Brother Goriel, this one here, oh, over here. So he has four action points, so he will move one and shoot the doors. Okay, so he needs a six. Oh, and by the way, let's do this. Six, it's a mess. Move for the second time, shoot the doors. It's a six, so these doors were destroyed. I'll put them on this on the side. And I'll put him in overwatch for the remaining two. Okay, one, two, three, four. And I'll spend two command points. Two command points to put him on overwatch as well. Down that corridor. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Like that. So that's that part of, of the brothers. Now let's move on with these guys over here. One, two, and overwatch. Okay, like this. One, two, and overwatch on the on that side as well. Come on. Okay, so one, two, three, four, two command points and go on overwatch so that I can protect these guys. And I need these uh this um guy with the machine gun and what's his name his name is brother zeal one two three and four one two three and four one two three and four so all of our guys have moved we have still one command point remaining so i suppose i'll just move in with one of the guys over there so as you can see we still have some time left we have uh, used all our command points over there. So this is turn four. So <coughs> our gene stealer player will get one blip reinforcement in either of these four entry points that you can see right there. And I think we will use this one and it will go one, two, three, four, five, six, six movement points, action points really. I cannot move in there because I cannot move in with a blip into um, his line of sight. But what I can do, I can voluntarily flip him and it's three, three of these guys <clears throat> and they have to be spawned adjacent to the spawning location, which was the one that we picked the blip from. And since this, um, Gene Stealer <coughs> showed up in his line of sight, he will shoot him with his overwatch, which is which is not sufficient to kill him. Okay, so I will get in with closer with this one. Uh, we also have that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. These guys over here, do we want to move in? Can we actually get uh, to this guy? Uh, what's his name? Let's have a look. I want to learn the names. This is Brother Dano. So Brother Dano is in Overwatch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I could attack him twice if he actually jams his bolter in his Overwatch. Let's have a look. First one. One and two. Miss. Third action point. Miss. Fourth action point. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ah, and there you go. It's, it jams, but it kills him. He had the sustained fire because he kept shooting at the same target. So this 
gene stealer is destroyed, okay, but his bolter is jammed. And I don't have any um, action command points to actually unjam it in this in this um, turn. So this gene stealer will go one, two, three, four, five, and will attack Brother Dano. Whew, that's actually bad. So the close combat, the way it works, is okay. Oh, so the gene stealer wins. So Brother Dano is cut into pieces. So one Space Marine is destroyed. There you go. Whew, that was risky. So the other thing I want to do, I want to reveal that blip. It says three, three Gene Stealers. Okay, hang on. Three Gene Stealers. So one. Okay. One, two, Three. So three of them, and I will move them down the corridor like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they are just swarming in. Ah, I forgot to actually shoot. Let's see. Ah, I missed the fact that this uh, brother, brother Scipio, was in Overwatch. So he will shoot this and he missed, but this was uh, this Gene Stealer's one last action point when he attacked uh, Brother Dano. So that's it, I can't do anything else because no, nothing else is moving. Okay, so let's have a look if we have anything up here in this corridor uh, going on. No, not really, I think I will stay in place. Well, let me have a look actually. This one is two. Do I want to reveal that? No, not really. Not just yet. I think I think I will just try and rush these guys. So first movement. And brother Brother Zeal. No, it's not Brother Zeal. It's Brother Leon, I think. No, the Brother Leon is the one with Oh, that's Brother Omnio. Sorry, Brother Omnio. Yeah. He uh, rolls a six and he destroys that gene stealer. Okay, so I will move here with this one. Oh, he had another kill. One. Yet another kill. You need a six to kill during your overwatch of five if you have sustained fire. So that was actually fantastic. So do I have any, any other options with, with gene stealers? Maybe I could reveal one of these. This is a one, and this is a one. Mm. Well, no, not really. I don't want to do that. So, end of turn four. That's the situation on the board. Hang on, let me just grab a better view. Helicopter view. <laughs> There you go. So, turn five. I command points, four of them. I don't want to re-roll. Let me clear the Overwatch tokens off the board. And we need to do something about these guys over here. Where's my Flamer guy? He's over here, but this one is blocking the way. Ah, oh, I was showing the other part, so... Um, Brother Zeal with the Flamer, show you, yeah, fantastic figure. That was a misplay on my part, he should have been here, I could have flamed this area and destroy all the all the uh, blips over there, can't do that now. I think I have to deal with these guys. Okay, I have four command points, turn number five, so let's do this. Okay, I need the second die, so... Hmm, brother Scipio, right? You have four gene stealers. Yeah. Nope. Action point number two. Nope. Sustained fire is on. Five. There's no jam now because uh, that happens only during the Overwatch. So he's destroyed. So that was action point number three. Number four is a terrible miss. So I'm going to spend one command point. 
five. Yep, that one is dead as a result of sustained fire. Okay, and then I have three action points, the uh, command points to spend. I'll spend two to put him in Overwatch. I think that's a safer option. And I will also. Uh... Oh, okay. Sorry for that. Forgot about the hourglass. <laughs> I'll try to uh, make up for it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Brother Goriel. Uh, one, two. Overwatch, okay. I can't see these guys yet, so they're not in the line of sight. So one, two, three. And I'm going to spend the last command point and the last remaining action point to put this brother, uh, brother Dano, if I'm not mistaken, in Overwatch. And I will... Uh, <laughs> What are we going to do? One, two, Overwatch, one, two, three, four. He went right there to support his, uh, to support Brother Goriel, Sergeant uh, Gideon, right? Uh, this brother with the chainsword, Brother Valencio, will go one, two, three, four. Uh, what about you? Um, did I forget to put you in Overwatch? Oh, I did. No, I did, didn't I? Yeah? Yeah, I did. There it is. There it is. So, uh, one, two, uh, Overwatch. One, two, Overwatch. And I'll put uh, Sergeant Lorenzo in guard mode, just in case. So we still have some time left. One Space Marine down. Okay. So, first of all, we need one of the blips. Let's take a random blip right there, like that one. <clears throat> and this one we're going to uh, spawn from the top. So, one, two, three, open the doors, four, five, six. Okay, right there. Let's see what these are. This is one, so let's spawn one. Gene Stealer, and it'll go one, two, it will trigger the overwatch. Let's have a look, we need six, nope, five, three. We need five or higher, nope. It was here, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. So, one more, yeah. Sustained fire destroyed him. Let's have a look at this one. Ooh, three of them. Let's do just that. Let's spawn three. So one is spawned here, two and three. So since that one spawned in his line of sight, it'll trigger the um, overwatch, six. Nope, so one, six destroyed. This one comes in into uh, line of fire. So six destroyed as well. And I suppose I will do it like that, six or higher, no, three, five, sustained fire, this one is destroyed, well done, well done mate, well done brother, let's see this one, ah, uh, two, do we want to spawn right now, yes, I do, because if uh, space marines reveal my gene stealers, they will be able to uh, pick the facings, right? and I don't want them to do that, um, so let's move one, two, three, four, five, six. We also have this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has moved. These two, let's, let's keep them like this. And we have these guys over here. So one, Overwatch. Let's move to Overwatch, and we have six, so this one is killed. Well done, guys. You're doing great. One, Overwatch. Another six, look at that. They are on fire. Uh, what, what's this? Oh, this blip has moved from the top, so we cannot, I can have a look, it's only one, uh, but I cannot um, trigger it right now, can I? Okay, so 
uh, turn number six. That's what it is. That's the way it plays. Hopefully I even look at that. Six command points. There you go. So this this is a rather hectic uh, <laughs> Space Hulk sample playthrough. Uh, turn four and five out of the Be Beachhead mission. The very first one in the mission book. Uh, there are no house rules yet. I'm still learning the game, so mistakes will happen. And I have to tell you that I absolutely adore this game. It's simplicity, it's uh, curiosity, it's brutality. <laughs> really like the way it plays out, the way it looks on the board. Absolutely fantastic, especially with the painted minis. So just a small flyover. I've seen guys who created the 3D corridors for this game and I don't blame them. <laughs> I absolutely uh, adore uh, things like that and it looks absolutely awesome just look it up on the on YouTube I think it's uh, some French guys who did that with some additional LEDs built into the walls so when they switch the lights off it just looks amazing on the table so here we are Space Hulk 4th edition a sample playthrough please let me know what you think uh, whether you liked it or not and whether you want me to uh, include some uh, further missions because this is the mission that you've probably seen already on several different playthroughs. I'm trying to go through the campaign. Uh, so if you enjoy me recording and posting it on the channel, then please let me know. And when I reach mission four, five or whatever from the mission book, I might record it and paste it on the, on the channel if that's what you wanna see. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for your time, for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as much as I have. And I'll see you in the next episode shortly. Bye-bye.